Hi folks, Lily here with Spoons Across America and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a tasting plate for the ingredient exploration part of each spoon's activity. These tasting plates are a really wonderful chance for your child to get to try each ingredient that you're going to be cooking with in a recipe before you combine them into the recipe. So you can start to learn a little bit more about flavors, smells, and textures of the different foods you're going to be using in the recipes. Setting up these tasting plates is pretty simple. All you're going to need is a plate. You can either use a dinner plate, a paper plate, whatever you have on hand. You'll need a knife to cut up small sections of the things you'll be trying. And you might need some bowls for ingredients like oil or vinegar, things that you can't put right on the plate. You could use small bowls that you have on hand or ramekins. You could also repurpose old jar lids for ingredients or you can put the ingredients right in a spoon. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up the ingredients for a tasting plate for our winter citrus salad recipe. The ingredients for this recipe are some citrus fruit, mint, olive oil, sherry vinegar, salt, and honey. So for my citrus fruit, I'm just gonna cut them into small bite-sized pieces. I'll start with a lime here. First I'll just cut a little wedge, and then I'll slice that wedge into a little bit. You just want tiny little pieces for you to taste. Something like lime, it's very sour. You only need a little bit to taste. Next, I'm gonna go for a different one of my citrus fruit. Again, I'm just cutting it into a bite-sized piece. Something that's big enough for your child to get a taste of it, but not so much that they'll fill up on the tasting plate before you even create the recipe. So again, two little pieces, one for you, one for your child. They go right on the plate. I have one more citrus fruit to do. I'm gonna do some grapefruit here. Same thing, cutting it into pieces, putting it on the plate. My next ingredient is mint. For the mint, I'm just gonna pick two mint pieces, put them right on the plate. That's an easy one. Now I have my ingredients that you need to put in little containers. I'm gonna start with a little glass bowl and I'm gonna put some olive oil in it. The olive oil is really easy if you do it in a little bowl and then you can taste with a spoon or you can pour it straight on a spoon. So just a small amount. Again, it's just a taste, so you only need a teeny bit. My sherry vinegar, I'm also gonna put in a little bowl, just like this, enough for a taste, right on the plate. My salt and honey, I'll show you how to put on the, ta um, the tasting plate using a spoon. So you can just take a spoon and dip a little bit in there, enough for a taste. This is super easy because then when it's time to taste, you can just pop the spoon right in your mouth. So that one goes on my tasting plate. And then I have my final ingredient, which is salt. And I'm gonna put it right on the tasting plate as well. Little spoon, and there we go. All right, and there you have it. I made our tasting plate just like that. It's pretty easy. I have all of my ingredients on here, ready to be tasted. Once your tasting plate is all set, you can go ahead and taste the ingredients one at a time. So pick one to start with, say maybe the lime. You wanna ask your kid questions about the food that they're tasting. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? Again, you are using your senses to go on a flavor exploration, trying to figure out a little bit more about the ingredients that you're using. Once you've looked at it and smelled it and taken a taste, talk a little bit about it. Is it sweet? Is it sour? How does it feel in your mouth? Soft, crunchy? When you finish an ingredient, you can go ahead and move on to the next one. Slowly taste each ingredient one at a time till you've tasted and talked about everything. I recommend doing this together. So you can taste as your child tastes so that you can have a conversation. When you get to the ingredients that might be on the spoon, you can go ahead, pick up the spoon, pop it right in your mouth. If you've put some ingredients in a bowl, you can use a clean spoon, get a little bit on, and go ahead and taste. Again, you want to make these tasting plates work for you. So whatever you have on hand, little bowls, spoons, ramekins, anything works. The basic idea is just to put a teeny sample of each ingredient on the plate to try. If there are certain ingredients, maybe like rice or pasta, something that you have to cook to eat, you can skip putting it on the tasting plate. You could still put it on there if you wanted and just talk about it by looking, um, looking at it or smelling it and waiting to taste until it's cooked, or you could skip it. Again, just tasting the ingredients one at a time all together. The whole point of this activity is to talk and think a little bit deeper about the different flavors on your tasting plate. 
Once you've finished your tasting, you're all set and ready to move on to preparing the recipe. In the recipe, you'll have a chance to use the same ingredients to prepare something where everything mixes together. Then when you taste the finished recipe, you can compare it. Say, hmm, how does the citrus taste in this final citrus salad? Versus, how did it taste when we were tasting the ingredients one at a time? Maybe the lime is super sour on its own, but it's really nice in the final dish. Or maybe, wow, the salt was so salty and I didn't really like it on its own, but when you have just a little bit in the recipe, it's delicious and it brings out the flavors of the other things. Again, you make these tasting plates work for you, move through the ingredients slowly enough so you have time to taste and taste with your child. I promise this is going to be not only a really interesting way to try new foods, but a really exciting way to get your kid thinking about using all of their senses when they're eating. Until next time, I hope you've enjoyed this tasting plate activity setup how-to, and I look forward to seeing you again here in my kitchen.